Oh wow, would you look at that? That is our Annabelle Hydrangea. And she is beautiful today. Hey friends, you're watching Daybird Aviaries. I'm Robert. And these are military macaws. And I'm trying to change out their nest box. Here in their cage, here in their cage, well the cage is eight feet long, it's four feet from front to back, four feet tall, suspended two feet off the ground. And there is this basket box of wire, cage within a cage. That's what she's standing on currently. And that had a wooden nest box in it. I come around this way, there's a hole straight forward that way where they could come in and out. But I'm trying to take all of this out of the cage to give them more room and I'm going to hang an external metal nest box on the cage. It'll be on the outside of the cage. And they are not cooperating. I have made them extremely angry today. There's the remnants of what's left of the nest box. Jeremiah is taking it apart, taking it to a fire pit. Now look, there's only one more clip that's holding this floor up and then the bottom's going to fall out and the macaws will probably swing backwards. Now ideally this would be done because the birds are not even in the cage. But unfortunately that's just not a possibility. No birds were harmed during this. It was no different than a branch falling in the, in the wild. They are perfectly fine. I knew it was happening. This was planned. They are fine. They may not be happy, but they are okay. This, this one right here, this. That's the last ring holding this in there. If you're ever going to build a cage for macaws, use stainless steel hog rings. They're a booger to get off. Talk about a booger. Hey there. Hey. Hey. I got your toes. I got your toes down here. Ow. Ow. Okay. I'm sorry I can't show every single step of the process, but it's hard enough to do things and film. It's even more difficult to do things and film and try to keep your fingers intact. Because they would bite me taking this out. Alright, I've got that out. Now I'm going to shut this door. It has this latch on it and it even has had these hooks, but I'm going to seal this door up shut completely using cage clips. Now, I didn't have any more of the small stainless steel clips, ring, hog rings left, so I use these giant three-quarter inch galvanized hog rings. I got these uh, where they're sold all over the place. They're used to put up chain link fencing. And they're easy to find here locally at Home Depot. I can't get hardly anything else locally, but I can get those. Okay, so now I just have to cut a hole in this side of the cage right here for the nest box to hang. All right, so that is the nest box that I'm wanting to use. It is a large L box or boot shaped box. 
they're wanting in it right now. I'm not sure they can fit through the door. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the hole and see if they can fit in there. If they can't get in easily, then I have another nest I can put up there for them. So these are a critically endangered species in the wild. And I have two pairs here that are all unrelated and I desperately want for them to breed. The birds are wanting to help and they're making it more difficult. This wire is already next to impossible for me to cut. Let's see if I've done it. Yeah. Okay. Let's put the nest box on. See what happens. Let's see if she can get in there. I really, really hope she can. Tuck your shoulders in, girl. It'll be a tight squeeze. They are primed and ready to go. They want to breed. I think she can fit. What do you think, Jeremiah? She's, she's pretty much in there, so yeah, she can fit. All right, this makes me so happy. Yeah. Baby military macaws. I know. Because everything's just tech. Yeah, it's all brand new. She's exploring. Alright, well guys, I think this is a success. Yeah. Now, just got to put some shavings in the box. Yeah. Maybe a couple of fallen branches for them to chew up. Alright. So she's all the way down in the bottom of the box. So here we are on the outside looking in. She seems pleased with herself. Very happy. So I think this is a success. Okay, I don't know if she'll do it again, but she she's discovered the box echoes when she laughs and says hello. You want to say hello again? Say hello. Oh, she's not going to do it. I'm going to get wet doing it, but I have to hang a nest box here for the scarlet macaws. They have a barrel, but they never have gone into that barrel. This one's name is Rainbow, and over here, his name is Flag. Okay, so I've got to cut the wire so they can go in and out of that box. And then I'll have to take the box down and then rehang it after I cut the wire. And then I can take this blue barrel off and I'll have to patch up that hole. I have another cage that's going to go in here. And then we're going to put a roof over this whole entire area. That is the nest box we hung for the military macaws. And then the green wing macaws 
there in the back have a nest just like this that's going up for the scarlet. Got water in my eye. Friends, I got rained up. I'll have to finish this another day. God bless you. Bye-bye.